trunks and outbound routes. We're going to talk about how to set up the complete PBX system to enable placement of external calls. There are two components that are required to establish this process. Trunks, that's the connection between the complete PBX and your service provider, and outbound routes, the connection between your extensions and the trunk. Let's start with defining the trunk. From the Complete PBX Launchpad, select Administration, go to the Connectivity menu, and choose Trunks. In this example, we are going to define a DADI trunk. Give it any name that makes sense, but note it shouldn't include spaces. We'll call it International Calls. The Outbound Caller ID field is for those extensions in the system that don't have their own DID, Direct Inward Dialing Number. For those users, you can specify the main company number in this field. You can limit which calls will go out on this trunk. You can allow everybody to call out, or you can limit it. For example, you can block foreign CIDs, meaning if a call has been transferred into the system from outside, it cannot then initiate a call using these settings. You can limit how many channels are allowed to use this trunk at a time. In our example, for this DADI trunk, we may have only 24 channels at our disposal. If we want to reserve a few for incoming calls, we can set this number to 16. You also have an option to disable the trunk instead of deleting it, preserving the settings for when you are ready to activate or reactivate it. Now we come into the area of pattern matching, which is very powerful and relatively complex. As such, it is covered in a separate how-to video. For the purposes of this session, we will define a simple sample pattern. For example, in the pattern we'll define here, we'll describe user behavior when placing an outbound call. The typical user will dial 00 to indicate that he'd like to place an international call. We're going to convert that to 012, which is the prefix for our preferred international provider. So the user will dial 00, and that will be followed by a pattern such as Z, XX, 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 X, period. The Z represents any digit from 1 upwards, while the X represents any digit, including 0. The letter N can be used to represent digits from 2 upwards. In this case, we will start with the Z because if the user dials three zeros in a row, we suspect he's not intending to make an international call. The period, which is also a placeholder, indicates that there is no specific length required beyond the initial nine digits designated by our 1, Z, 7 X's, and the period placeholder itself. In the dial pattern we are creating here, we are trimming or removing the 00 dialed by the user and replacing it with 012 as our international provider of choice. In the future, if we change providers, we can simply change that prefix to the one used by the new provider. Additional dialing patterns could be defined to use the same route, such as this one using the standard method for dialing internationally from a US-based phone. Next, we'll set the DADI identifier. There are basically two options. If you want the system to choose the lowest available channel on the line for the call, select the lowercase g. If you want the system to choose from the highest available channel, select the uppercase g. The g method will concentrate all the call traffic to one end or the other of the spectrum of available channels. The other option is to use R, which stands for Round Robin. This will direct the system to search for an available channel in a linear pattern. Using a lowercase r will perform the search starting from the lower end. An uppercase r will direct the system to search from the highest channel going downward. In all cases, the letter, lower or uppercase g, lower or uppercase r, will be followed by a number to make the identifier unique. Notice the Duplicate Trunk button. 
It is a time-saving method that allows you to copy all parameters in the current dialog to create an identical trunk, which can then be modified. Submit your changes. The second part of this module is to set up the outbound routes. Go to the connectivity menu, choose the outbound routes menu option. We'll define a route that will pick up international calls. You can protect this route with a password, which will reduce abuse of the line by unwanted parties. If you check the intra-company option, you will trigger the system to show the internal caller ID, that is, the caller's extension number, rather than the entire DID. This is relevant when you have systems in different branch office locations and you want to facilitate desk-to-desk -desk dialing between the employees. You can set a time group for the outbound route to determine when the route can be accessed. This is applicable, for instance, if you want to benefit from a good rate provided for off-hours by your provider. Next, we'll set the route position which specifies the route's priority relative to other routes that have been defined in the system. For example, if you have determined an emergency route, you would want to make that the first in the list so it has the best chance of obtaining a free channel if everything else is tied up. If we click on the plus sign to the left of the Allowed Extensions field, we see the list of extensions that have thus far been defined in the system. By default, all extensions are allowed access to all routes. Use drag and drop to move extensions from the allowed column to the blocked column. Extensions in the blocked column will not be able to access this route. If they try to do so, they will receive a message saying that the route is not available. We can now define the pattern that we want to identify as one that will trigger use of this route. A typical pattern would be a 9 prefix, which signifies that the caller wants to access an outside line. Then we'll input 00 to signify that the call is international. As mentioned before, the Z signifies any digit larger than 0, X is any digit including 0, and the period allows an unlimited number of digits after the initial digits described by our Z, X, and period. We can now link this route to one or more defined trunks. We'll choose the one we just defined, called International Calls, and also another one from the pool, in case the first is not available for any reason. After you submit the changes, don't forget to click Apply Config to make them stick. This topic is covered in detail in the Complete PBX Reference Guide, which is available for download in PDF format from our website.